name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Happy New Year to everyone right now watching us. I hope that you are going to have a fantastic year with many, many money coming into your pocket. And of course, be healthy. This is your first priority to be healthy psychologically and physically as well. Let's go right now and dive into the crypto market. And the thing right now that I want to mention and coming back into the next year, into this year, is to be careful, but at the same time, be very, very bullish. Be careful for the first quarter of the 2024. And why I am saying that? There is a very huge chance that before we make this huge bull movement that we are going to go all the way up straight above the 59,000 Tether USD, but we are going to face a huge, huge correction above the 69,000 Tether USD, actually, as it was the all-time high, right? Around the 69,000 Tether USD. Right now, there is a good chance that we go and have a correction going on. That means that many, many cryptos, including BTC, are going to fall down pretty quickly and pretty vastly, okay? So that means that with this kind of correction right here that we are having right now, we will see many altcoins and many crypto cryptos going further down, okay? So I'm assuming that um, a nice correction will be coming off right now. You can see in the weekly scale, and this is why I want you to be extremely careful if we go on the weekly scale because I had a little bit of a lag right there, but there we go. Okay, on to the weekly scale. We have this triangle that it seems to me like this is not a neutral triangle. This is not a bullish pennant. It will come off paying as a correction, right? It will form as a triangle and we will have the correction coming in. And I am thinking that this whole thing right here is going to come to an end. The risk is, is high and therefore that's why you see that Bitcoin is crossing very rapidly into the lower time frames right now, and many altcoins are completely falling down. We have a major crash in the altcoins over minus 14, 15 percent, and so on, right? So, this is a little bit problematic right now for the crypto market. Apart from that, though, I do not think that over the next few weeks we are going to see a huge crash coming in, but right now it seems a little bit problematic to me that we are going to face this uh, cor correction, okay? And it seems problematic that Bitcoin is crashing rapidly towards the short term. Many short positions are coming in. This is why you are seeing that despite the fact that we had a nice uh, bullish moment, right now we are at a minus 6% in the 4-hour frame, right? Which is a very, very huge correction. And for the altcoins as well, they sustain a huge correction. They go deeply, deeply down. This is why you are seeing that the crypto is going crazy, crazy right now. I think that we are going to face a correction into the next few days and few weeks. But for the holders, do not worry, we are going to see better days coming in. Okay, so we are going to see better days coming in for the crypto market. But right now, things are looking a little bit green. Okay, you can see the reason behind it is because we are seeing a very, very nice correction onto the Bitcoin, which leads to always, always a good crossing opportunity for the altcoins. But fear not, I will say it again and again and again, that 2024 will be extremely, extremely bullish. Okay, so what are the targets for the crypto market and for Bitcoin as well? Well, what I think about BTC and the crypto market in general, it is that we are going to go further down, uh, retracing down to the 37,000 Tether USD for BTC, maybe 34,000 and so on, reaching the white line, the 200 day um, uh, moving average into the daily frame. There's a good scenario that this will be coming upwards because this is a lagging indicator. And maybe we go even down to the 34 to 35,000 Tether USD. Now you will tell me, Bill, what is going to happen in the crypto market during this correction? Of course, we are going to have a good, good correction coming in for the altcoins as well. Some altcoins will be going higher. All right. Now you can see that we are pumping just a little bit um, as the, by the time I'm making the video because we reached the 
50-day exponential moving average. This line right here, this red line, this is why we are having this small pump, this small pump that is going to keep us a little bit above for now, okay, a little bit of a breath of a fresh air for, uh, for the crypto market, but apart from that, please keep in mind, keep in mind these huge, uh, actually on the weekly scale, please keep in mind this uh, triangle, this that will be probably the case that it is not a bullish pennant, it is a triangle that will get us further down. And testing not only the 35,000, the 36,000, this yellow line right here into the weekly scale, we are going to test it out, but be sure that crypto right now is looking incredibly strong for the second quarter or the third quarter of 2024. Not though for the first quarter, as I'm telling you again, please be careful and do not forget to join our monthly subscription, patreon.com slash mindrocrypto. Easy profits, you will see that. I am getting back and the investing opportunities will be many. Do not miss this opportunity as well. Okay, so uh, please, for now, be careful with your long positions. Do not get trapped into an area that you do not want to go right. Things are looking a little bit bad right now. Okay, for many altcoins, minus 14%, minus 13%, I'm seeing all the crypto market is red right now. Um, this is a little bit devastating if you had, for example, long positions coming in into the higher targets, but fear not. Now, some altcoins will resist this crash, this correction, and will be going higher. Okay, so uh, I think that there are some altcoins that will be looking good, and once this correction settles down a little bit and the Bitcoin will go sideways, some altcoins will be going higher, but most of the altcoins will follow Bitcoin because the Bitcoin dominance is increasing while Bitcoin is correcting. You all know what that means. That means that crypto uh, altcoins are bleeding more. If, for example, Bitcoin dominance is falling down and we see a correction in the Bitcoin dominance, then altcoins will be going higher. Okay, so uh, please keep that in your mind that once this correction settles, some altcoins will be getting higher. Uh, I will be making another video for this. Thank you so much for watching, have a fantastic day, have a fantastic year, and see you soon. Bye.